we all have our own personal issues. We all go through something, and um, we've all just got to battle it on. I think the hardest fight in life can sometimes be you, you know, between both your ears and what's going on in your own head. The biggest challenge I've had to face um, in my life would probably be um, moving away from my family uh, 24 hours away. That would probably be the biggest challenge that I've had to face. And even to this day I struggle to deal with as uh, it's what, what do you value more, family or the luxuries of life of me being here in England and, and pursuing my career. Um, and I think that's what drives me is knowing that I've made that sacrifice, the biggest sacrifice I could make and it's the biggest challenge to still to this day that I deal with, I have my ups and downs, waking up missing my family, yeah, but that just throws fuel to the fire and makes me want to um, make sure that this time that I've spent here I use well and make the most of it. God, I've only got a short boxing career and it will all pay off. So day to day challenges as well, uh, I face. everybody faces different day to day challenges, everyone's um, challenges some harder than others um, but it's all relevant to the person um, from people calling me out every single day uh, I probably have about four fighters every single day call me out saying that I'm scared it's frustrating, uh, it's annoying um, but you just got to let them do what they got to do and, and that's how I choose to approach that is we got to stay in our lane and me and my team are so focused on me and what's best for me and and the goals we're going to reach and how we're going to get there and we're the best promoter in the game his job is to make me millions and my job is to fight good fighters fight the right fights at the right time and my trainer I've got the best team in the world uh, so as far as it comes with that that's solid as well as my other personal issues that I go through in life we all have our own personal issues we all go through something and um, we've all just got to battle it on. I think the hardest fight in life can sometimes be you, you know, between both your ears and what's going on in your own head. Because no matter what other people tell you, no matter what other people say to you, you still got to deal with it in your head, and you've either got to choose to, be, you know, you got to fight that fight in your head. Uh, it's all down to perspective and how you choose to look at things. I mean. After my second fight um, in Glasgow, I went back to the change room, bought my as a terrible performance. I also then, in my sixth fight, um, when I fought Ross Jameson in Manchester, I thought, God, it should have been an easy fight, and that was, I made that an hard night's work. Um, and then after my Paynard fight, uh, where I got hit the canvas twice in the first round, got up to win and put him down twice in the last two rounds. It's all character building, it's all you can either let it defeat you, let the fear um, capture you. And fear is such a strong thing, it can paralyse anybody. Um, fear is false, in my opinion, as a, I have it written here, fear is a lie. Um, false, uh, fear is false evidence appearing real. Um, we often fear things that may not come, fear things that may stop us from achieving what we want to achieve. and. I think you just got to stay uh, focused on the course and, and the plan and don't let anything distract you and whatever your vision is, whatever you have that fuel, that fire for, you go for that, don't let no fear get in the way of it, which is easy, easier said than done because I still to this day I fear of everything I do. For example, um, at 19 years old to walk out to 20,000 at the O2 with no amateur background, I'm telling you fear would have kept me from doing that. And, it's fear in everything you do. When you put yourself out of comfort zone, you just got to remind yourself, trust the process. I fight fear every single day um, with my thoughts, my choices, and it may not seem it, but everybody has fear of something, whatever that fear is. Um, I'm not talking fear of spiders, or I'm talking general fears, life fears, worries, concerns, um, worrying about tomorrow. It doesn't take away tomorrow's problems, it just takes away today's peace. And that's so important. You need to make sure you can be amongst the craziness, amongst the madness, but you've got to try and find peace within yourself. And that'll often come from people you have around you. Fear can cripple you. Fear can cause anxiety, depression. Fear can 
you just need to sometimes switch off the news if that's things you worry about and let fear be your fire, your fuel. I, when I fight opponents, I want to fight opponents that people say I'm going to lose to because there's that fear factor and I use that as my own energy to make me perform better. How do I approach fear, worries, concerns, doubts, negative mindset? Um, I make sure I reset and you can program your brain, you can change your way of thinking um, from, like, I think, quite negatively. You know, I'm that person that uh, thinks negatively about everything, or worry about so many things in, in life. Um, and sometimes you just gotta change your process, you gotta change your mind, you gotta program it, change your way of thinking. And I find, I make training my therapy, long runs, um, boxing, uh, Praying, I pray a lot. Uh, that brings me peace. Um, find what works for you, and it's so important to have a clear mind. Uh, the biggest danger caused by fear, I would say, is people fearing to set the bar high, people fearing to chase after their dreams, and nine times out of ten, it's projection of fear from somebody else or somebody else's concern or worry that their places worry on you. Um, some, for example, some people's parents uh, may be worried about their children um, with their dreams or their goals that they're so big that it's like, come on, that's you know, it's so silly, you're gonna waste or if, things like that um, from young, and then just being the fear capturing you of what if it fails, what do I do then? Listen, we've all got to take risks, calculated risks, of course, but the best ideas are in the graveyard. Um, People, people, you can't let fear cripple you. You can't let fear worry you. If you really believe um, you can do something and achieve it, mark my words, you can. I think failure, again, it depends on how you choose to look at it. Uh, because what is failure? Um, I think failure is when you choose to quit. I think failure is letting fear capture you and and stop you from achieving your goals, even making the initial step. I think that's failure. I think not even giving it a try is failure. Do I think maybe, yeah I wouldn't say failure because failure is when you choose to quit in my opinion. If I, if I fought and I lost the fight, the only way that would become a failure is if I chose to quit not come back and learn more from it whereas I had made sure that I chose to I choose to learn and use as much from that loss to make sure I'm better in the future so I think yeah, I think um, failure again is when you choose to quit but I, I give it failure is you can use it for your own benefit definitely I think you've got to be in very, loads of uncomfortable situations. Go for adversity. Go for I think experience of um, overcoming fear, overcoming worry, um, having major um, setbacks, and coming through and persevering and keep moving forward. Keep your feet. Keep moving. Just keep it moving. Um, I think you will then look back. Maybe day you may not see change, but then you may look back six months, you may look back a year and be like, wow, how much I've changed. And through going through all these things, you will naturally grow. And you, you just become stronger in your dream and your vision and what you want to achieve. So when you go through adversity, you'll come through the other side. It all just depends on how you choose to use that to, to make you better for the next time you hit a hurdle. Although I guess when I was younger, um, about my mindset and growth, I always, for me, it was my parents who set the bar high for me. Um, so I'm here, the but the bar's still. I wouldn't be able to show where I would need to be for me to reach anywhere near the growth my parents had and the vision they had. Um, I think everything you've got to have a vision for in life, and I don't know. I had a vision from young. Um, did I think I'd accomplish it so much so soon? No. 
but I knew eventually I would have got there. And because of my mindset, my work ethic, the way I chose the thing, anything I would have chosen to have done, anything, I know that I would have smashed it. I know that I would have, whatever I chose to do would have turned into gold. And that's because of the mindset, the work ethic, the dedication, perseverance, um, all these qualities you need to fulfill the growth. Yeah, so do I, did I set myself goals that I knew I couldn't have reached? Um, I think where I am now, um, every single day, um, I reach a new goal. And that's another day in being Connor Ben, a role model. Being a son, a good son. Being um, a good partner. Um, take, taking care of priorities in my life, uh, making sure every I is dotted and every T is crossed, uh, becoming the man more so in life, as well as being a good public role model. Um, I think it's credit to my parents, they've done well, but every single day I, I've just got to pinch myself and be like, well, I know I set the bar high in my head when I was younger, um, but for me to be living here on my own, left home at the age of 19, um, with no amateur fights to then being where I am now and it's, you could say earning money but then it's being wise with the money it's two completely different things it's being educated with it and that's where more so I I am happier the man I'm becoming every single day being confident in my education with everything that I've got and how not to lose it or how to keep keep an eye or or make sure everything is covered, is the right word, at such a young age, with so much responsibility, uh, I'll make sure everything, all my I's are dotted and all my T's are crossed, I'll make sure I take care of all my priorities, which are taken care of, um, and everything I value, uh, so, and if everything's looked after that I value, um, you can't really go wrong.